A woman convicted of killing a man at the age of 16 and given a life sentence is now a free woman tonight. Centoya Brown was released today from prison after receiving clemency. She credits her transformation behind bars to her family, friends and education. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs is in the newsroom and tells us about the program through Lipscomb University that's helped Brown and many other incarcerated women. Kelsey. Well, it was founded in 2007 and staff say it's more about giving incarcerated women an education. Instead, it's all about giving them another chance. We've had over 100 women in the program. 20 will have graduated with their associate's degree at the end of December, and 10 will have graduated with their bachelor's degree. There have been several graduations at Lipscomb University through its life program. So every Wednesday night, faculty and traditional students load up, go to the prison, and have math class, biology, French 1, French 2. Currently, Lipscomb has 40 students who are inmates taking classes inside the prison alongside traditional or outside students, earning enough credits to go towards an associate, a bachelor's, and even a master's degree. Statistically, education inside, whether it be post-secondary education, whether it be vocational education, it in reduces the rate of recidivism by 43%. For 12 years, this program has been offering courses to inmates in including Santonia Brown, who went on to earn her bachelor's degree. Brown says she was a teen sex trafficking victim when she killed a man at the age of 16. Now the 31-year-old who was free from prison will remain on parole supervision for 10 years. She is required to complete at least 50 hours of community service, including working with at-risk youth, participate in regular counseling sessions, and she must hold down a job. Brown is just one of several inmates who found success through the LIFE program. Everyone is teachable. Well, students like Brown can, of course, take classes while in prison for graduate work, but they can also take additional courses on the Lipscomb campus once they are released. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Thank you, Kelsey.